minutes of 2012. I have tons of stuff, so I'm not gonna make this intro very long, and we're just gonna get right to it. You decided to dip, and now you want a trip. So for skincare, I'm still sticking to my proactive. I love it. I think it's very effective. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best at being consistent, but when I am consistent, I can definitely tell a difference. Um, my little toner is almost out, so I need to get a new package. But I love these suckers. Um, they have done a great job for my face, kind of cleaning that up. And again, if I used them more consistently, I think it would have better results. But I absolutely love these, and I wouldn't trade them for anything else. For moisturizer, I'm still on my Neutrogena Oil Free SPF 15. Teen, um, moisturizer duh you can get it at any drugstore I have it here you can get it at any drugstore it's very affordable and yeah I haven't really found anything that I like as much as this so I'm sticking to this as far as primer goes I'm still loving the professional I used to be stuck on the veil um, veal veil hourglass whatever it is um, and I still love it but then I went back to this and I realized why I bought it in the first place because I absolutely loved it because I used it for maybe the first six months of the year and then I bought the hourglass and loved that so stopped using this and then started using this again and I was like in love all over again. This is a great product and it's by Benefit and it's just it's this is oil free, lightweight, translucent and silky and it's all of those things. So I would not change this for any other primer in the world. As far as foundation goes, I'm still sticking to my HD foundation by Makeup Forever. I absolutely love this. It's full coverage for me and I can build it up. Um, um, as much as I want to make it maybe less pigmented or more coverage depending on what I want but I absolutely love this although I will say everyone's raving about this Revlon um, color stay foundation and that's my mission for 2013 I must try the Revlon as far as concealer there's the one that I really love and it's the elf um, concealer I love this thing I have um, the benefit that I really love the erase paste. I love that one a lot, but that would probably be my second choice because I'm still hooked on this. I think it does a great job. I use this for under my eyes to, you know, highlight everything, not for covering and perfections. But as far as a highlighter um, concealer, this is a great steal and it's only a dollar. If you're gonna go for more to cover up imperfections, then I'd probably stick with the Erase Paste by Benefit. Um, powder, the Benefit Get Even. I love this. It takes the shine away. Um, it looks like this. So it's specifically, I think, designed for oily skin. It kind of helps, you know, everything stay dry and not oily and that kind of stuff. So I love this. And as far as a bronzer, I'm still with my Stila Sun Bronzing Powder. And this is in shade 1. And we'll go ahead and open it so you can see that. And this is perfect for summer. So all summer, I wore this and I still absolutely love it. And summer is basically around the corner. So I'll get to wear it very soon. I couldn't just pick one. There's two that I really love. And if you watch any of my other videos, then you know how obsessed I am with the e.l.f. Um, blush. I don't know what color this is. Yeah, I don't know what color this is. But I absolutely love it. It's this rosy pink color and I love it. It's amazing. You do have to kind of, you know, grab a lot of the product to build up the color of it but i love it and it was only i think a dollar or three dollars i'm not sure but i loved and then this is the matte color which is from the temptation collection that just came out recently it's called passionately tempted and i know it barely made it onto my favorites of 2012 but i basically wear this on a daily basis as far as primer goes i love this urban decay primer it's the eyeshadow primer potion and i absolutely love it you can almost just wear it by itself and it still gives you like a glow goldy type of color and it still looks pretty without or with eyeshadow I'm pretty sure you know what I'm gonna say it's my naked one palette I use this basically on a regular basis and I love it um, I know everyone's like everyone's choosing naked palettes but they're just amazing why would you not choose a naked owl why would you not choose a naked palette so the first one is absolutely my favorite wear it all the time hands down as for eyeliner I go with this retractable waterproof eyeliner by Sephora and it looks like this I love this I wear this on a daily basis wearing it now I wear it every time I wear makeup I don't go with any other eyeliner I prefer this over gel or liquid eyeliner eyeliner or anything else and I believe it was like about eight dollars love this guy so it's basically like it says a retractable um, eyeliner but this is lasting me forever so this will definitely be a repurchase item once I run out 
As for mascara, I have two of them. I have the They're Real by Benefit. It looks like this. I love this mascara. It's very lengthening. It makes your eyelashes look like they're false, but they're real, which is why it's called They're Real. So I love this a lot. And then I also love my CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion, and it's water resistant. It's the purple bottle. I love this all the time. Usually I wear one or the other. I don't really own any other mascaras because these are the ones that I love. For us eyebrow fillers, I love my little Benefit brow zings, and this is in the color medium, and it's a disaster, so I apologize. It looks something like that. It has a little brush, but it looks like that, and yeah, I basically live by this. This is what I'm wearing today. I wear this on a daily basis, and I love it. Lip products, there's two that I swear by, and that's the baby lips. I think it's the pink punch color, or something punch, but I love this. I wear this almost on a regular basis, except for today, of course. And then I have my Smith's Rosebud Saw, but you can get this at Sephora. It's about six bucks, and I absolutely love this. Best thing for dry lips. I don't have any lip gloss favorites. I've tried many lip glosses, but none that have really been like, oh my goodness, I love this lip gloss. But I do have lipstick. And that would be my YSL lipsticks that I just got recently. I love these. They're so creamy, so pigmented. And even when you take them off, you still have the color tinted in you. Oh, I two favorites this year that I absolutely love and that's Essie's Bahama Mama which is kind of like a burgundy dark purple color and I love this and then the Club Privé by L'Oreal and if you've watched my videos from the beginning you know I've always raved about this nail polish I love this during the summer and even early fall this is what I wore all the time if you do not own it you need to go have it I don't know if they still have it but it's a must <laughs> This two that I really love, which is the Aussie Heat Protecting Shine Spray that looks like this. I feel it does a great job on my hair to not, you know, get it super damaged when I curl it or straightening it. And you can find this at any drugstore. Also, it would be the Fantasia Hair Polisher Daily Hair Treatment. I use this every time I straighten my hair and it leaves my hair super silky and smooth and not frizzy. And it's just an amazing product, especially if you have very thick hair, very wavy, frizzy hair. This is definitely like the magic product for the kind of hair. For favorite fragrance, I will go with Marc Jacobs Dot. I absolutely love this. It's super girly. It's just like a beautiful scent. I don't get bored of it. I love it. For lotion, I'm really into the Japanese cherry blossom. It looks like this from Bath and Body Works. I love the smell of it. It's just, it basically smells like cherry blossoms, but in the best way possible. It's very moisturizing. Also, the Japanese cherry, whoa, Japanese cherry blossom mist. It looks like this. I just got this one recently, so I haven't really used it as much, but I love it. And then as far as candle, you guys know I recently became an addict, and this season is basically the one that I've been living with the last couple of months, and I'm very sad that new scents are coming in because that means I won't be able to get any of these, but I have like 10 little ones, so I think I'm pretty good for the next few months. Oh, I loved anything neon. I love the neon trend over the summer and even throughout the year. Um, pieces like this one, totally neon, yellow. Absolutely love anything that has to do with bright colors. Favorite shoes is easy. I live on Uggs year round, literally my obsession. For favorite accessories, I've been very into statement necklaces. Um, this one was by far the one I wore the most all year long. Um, but any necklace has been my favorite. I just love the big chunkiness of it. This one's like gold with silver sequins, dark metal color. It basically has it all, so it's amazing. I'm a single lady. Now put your hands up. Love Lauren Conrad's style book. A friend is reading it right now, so she has it. And then the other favorite that I absolutely love is Portia de Rossi's Unbearable Lightness. Amazing, inspiring book. She talks about her struggle with weight and with her body image, and it's just amazing. I will put a link for it below on Barnes and Nobles or Amazon if you're interested in reading it. My favorite movie of the year, Pitch Perfect. It was Aka Awesome. I've watched it a gazillion times, and I'm gonna shape of it. Turn it around, turn it around, turn, turn, turn it around, turn around, turn, turn, turn. Probably shouldn't sing. Favorite music, probably my favorite album of the year would have to be Taylor Swift's Red. I have it downloaded on my computer so I don't have the actual hard copy. But if you have not listened to that album, you have to. It's amazing. 22 and The Moment I Knew are my favorite songs. I love them. Favorite gadget would have to be my Sony player that I'm totally obsessed with. And of course, 
my iPhone. This one's empty. It's the Perrette chocolate hazelnut. This one's actually, I'm pretty sure it's empty. <laughs> I need to get a refill of that. Now for the very very exciting part which is my giveaway three chances to win you can enter either via youtube facebook or twitter last time i did a giveaway a lot of you didn't have either facebook or twitter so i figured i'll do one for each that way everyone can enter it's open to international and national viewers so everyone can enter this contest you can enter one of them or you can enter all three of them so the first one is going to be the youtube prize so in order to qualify for this prize you have to be a subscriber duh to this channel and a subscriber to a brand new vlog channel over at Delmi's Daily Dose of Life. On my channel, you can find that link and it's Delmi's Dose of Life. So you have to be subscribed to both of them and then just leave a video in this comment letting me know what your favorite product of 2012 was. It does not have to be beauty related or you know, it could be whatever you want. It could be snacks, food, hair, whatever you want. Just give me your favorite product of 2012. So are you ready for the prizes? So the first prize is going to be the Lauren Conrad Brand. is it the beauty beauty book um i couldn't find the style book which is the one that i really really love but they have the beauty book and i figured duh why not beauty book is perfect so you will be receiving a copy of this book or should i say you will be receiving this book i haven't read this yet i did kind of skim through this um but hopefully you guys enjoy it and let me know if it's a great book and if i should read this one next because i'm obsessed with the style one now for the big prize you know how much i love mine if you have seen my previous video so I thought it would be perfect as a gift. You're gonna be getting your very own Sony player for your iPod or iPhone. It's amazing. I love mine. I thought it would be a perfect gift. I absolutely love it. I will ask, however, to please, if you don't have something that's compatible to this, please do not enter. That way everyone else can get a chance to win it if they do have an iPod or iPhone. I got this one at Best Buy and I will leave the link below. That way you guys can check out the specs and everything so that you know if you can use this at home. Very excited for that. So the YouTube winner will be getting that as well as the Lauren Conrad um, beauty book. And for that giveaway, all you have to do again is just be subscribed to my channel. Be subscribed to my new blog channel, which is Delmi's Dose of Life. And I promise I will be updating that. I think there's two videos up now. Um, but yes, I will be vlogging a lot. And yeah, and then just leave a comment letting me know what your favorite 2012 product is. And for Facebook, um, I have this exact same one, but I have it in pink, but I know not everyone loves pink, so I just got it in a standard color. Canon camera, this is in the color silver. Um, I really love this little sucker. This is what I use to film all of my videos and my tutorials and everything, and I absolutely love it. So this will be the first prize. And the second prize, you're gonna be getting um, my favorite scent of 2012, which is Tis the Season and the Big Three Wicked Candle. It looks like this. So you're gonna be getting this one, and you're gonna be getting um, the camera. So great prizes. Um, for the Facebook one, all I have to do is like my page, and yeah, that's about it. I will go ahead and leave the link to that below. Just like my page, and um, um, drop a comment if you like. You don't have to, it's not mandatory, but feel free. So that's gonna be for Facebook. And for Twitter, I tried getting you my favorite products, but they were basically sold out of everything. Um, but you are gonna be getting, I found the Japanese Cherry Blossom, and this is a body lotion. It looks a little different than the one that I have. But you're gonna be receiving this one, which is one of my favorite scents of the year. You're gonna be getting two, the Twilight Woods and the Central Amber. That way, in case you don't like one, you can get the other ones. And they're both really good, and I like both of them. And then, of course, you will also also be receiving my favorite scent in the three wicked candle which is tis the season it looks like this so it's basically a bath and body works package so if you want to win this package all you have to do is follow me on twitter and just tweet me saying that you want to enter the giveaway so yes if you want to enter the giveaways all the rules and everything will be below and you can enter more than one you can enter all three just enter the one that's your favorite that you like the most and this contest will probably go all the way up until the end of january so january 30th will be the deadline and you will be receiving everything before Valentine's Day especially because of the candles and sprays um, I should be shipping it out either the first week of February or like the second week like before Valentine's Day so yeah I hope you enjoyed my favorites of 2012 if you have a video just like this or if you want to make a video response just go ahead and put it below I love to watch everyone's favorites of 2012 it's very fun and subscribe if you have not subscribed and I will see you in my next video bye guys